You are the good book in the flesh. You are Torah, the Gospels and the Quran, being made manifest in the third dimension. Your thoughts are guided by Torah, feelings by the Gospel, and your beliefs by the Quran. They're all the Word of God. This is what it means to be a monotheist who believes in one God. Adonai, Jesus, and Allah are only names for him. If you believe in one of his words, you must find a way to combine your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs into a peace-loving human being. Christianity did the right thing by including Tanakh, the Old Testament, in with the New Testament. Now Islam should do the same by publishing the Old and New Testaments with the Quran. Your head is Jewish, your heart is Christ-like, and your soul is similar to that of a Muslim's. But you'll never believe me until you plummet the depth of paradox. That which appears to be seemingly opposite is a portion of a greater truth. The Abrahamic faiths are like line segments of a triangle, but without understanding a circle that's been divided into yin and yang, the paradox was brought to us by our Creator will remain a mystery to you. God gave everyone two worlds, the inner and outer world. Only God can join you in both of them. No one else is on the journey of your life with you from start to finish except God. The past, present, and future, time, lies in your hands. Some people think they're banging their head against a wall, but they're really banging their head against a riser. There are seven steps up to God's throne. What appears to you to be a wall is a riser. If you could appreciate this truth, you'd learn to dance on those steps the way Shirley Temple danced with Bojangles in The Little Colonel. Life is a dance. Life is a moral progression that deepens the soul. Allah may be the last name for God, but if you don't know how to use the other names for him, you're going to behave in ways that will embarrass, shame, and humiliate you, such as guilt. Even sick babies have to experience pain and suffering. The order of our lessons in life doesn't lie in our hands. Tomorrow we'll begin our discussion of God's historic move from millions of names for him worldwide to Hinduism the system that first consolidated his names into one. Good thoughts. We'll talk again tomorrow.